Hello guys. How are you all? Hope you enjoy your vacation. Okay, I miss you guys too. Hope to see you guys soon. Okay, today we are going to look at uh, lesson seven puzzle, lesson four puzzle seven. So I want you guys to log in, go to the website studio.co.org. Okay, then you click sign in box. Then you log in with your email address and your password. It's going to take you to where we stopped, lesson four, puzzle six. So you go to puzzle seven. The instruction. This tag is a special one. Can you figure out how to draw the outline? The long side is 150 pixels and each of the short sides are 75 pixels. This is the long side is 150 pixels and the short sides are 75 pixels. So what you are trying to do here is to do what? They want you to draw an outline. They want you to draw a line over this word polygon, over this gray line. Make an outline, okay? So, the first thing you need to do is to do what? To snap your move forward block. Because the artist is going to move forward first. So, the long side of this outline is 150 pixels. So, you change this to 150. 150, okay? Having done that, what's the next to do? So when he gets to this point, you click run first. Now he gets to this point. Is he gonna turn right or turn left? He's not gonna move forward anymore. He have to turn before he can be able to move forward. Okay? So you snap your turning, that turning right or turning left. So at this point, is he gonna turn right or turn left? He's gonna turn right. This is right, this is left. Okay? So you snap this block, turn right. By how many degrees? By how many degrees? So you change your degrees. This is 90. You can run to determine whether it's going to be 90. You click run. Okay? 90. So after that, it's going to move forward. Okay? Move forward by how many pixels? By 75. 75. So we're going to use these to determine what the turning right by how many degrees. So now let's reset. Let's click run. Okay, have you seen 95? This is 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. Okay, so definitely it's not going to be 90 degrees. What is it going to be? Okay, we change this. To 45 okay you click reset you run okay exactly so it's 95 degrees okay so at this point what is he gonna do is he gonna turn right or turn left I think he's going to turn what right this way when he turns right he moves forward by 75 pixels so now let's determine how many degrees he's going to turn right okay Let's take 45 degrees again, okay? And take move forward by 75 pixels. You reset and run. Okay, turn right by 45 degrees. So it's not 45 degrees. You change it to what? 90 degrees, okay? You reset, you run. Okay, correct. That is 90 degrees. So here, what's going to happen? He's going to turn right again. This is right. And move forward by 150 pixel because it's along the side. It's a long side, okay? So snap this block. Turn right. We have 90 degrees. Okay. Then he moves forward. How many pixels? 150. 150, okay? So let's check whether it's correct. The degrees is correct. You reset, you run. 
okay mm -hmm. the degrees is not correct 90 is not correct so you change it to 45 you reset you run okay correct so what's next is it gonna turn right or turn left if he's moving this way he's gonna turn right this way he's gonna turn left okay so you snap the turn right block after turning right he's gonna move forward by 75 pixel okay so let's run the code and determine the degrees by which he's going to turn right Okay, so this is wrong. It's not 95. That is what? Let's check 45. You reset. You run. Okay, so 45 degrees is correct. Okay, so what's next? Is he gonna do what? Turn right or turn left? This is right. He's gonna turn right and move forward. So you snap this block. Turn right. By how many degrees? move forward short side 75 pixel okay you run it again to check the degrees okay correct now the challenge is what complete you click continue Okay. Okay. Puzzle eight. Instructions. You can create this star by looping a sequence of move forward and turn right by one forty four degrees block. Okay, we are going to draw this shape. Okay. So and we are going to do what to use the move forward and the turn right by 144 degrees to draw it by looping a sequence that is these are the two blocks that we are going to use all right so this time we are going to use this special block the repeat do the repeat do why because here it says that the move forward by 200 pixels is gonna appear only one that is why it is written once you can use it only once you cannot use it more than once okay so and the weight that is the y of the shape is what 20 so we're going to use this repeat block Let's snap this block here repeat that means the move forward is going to repeat how many times the turn right is going to repeat how many times that's what it means okay so when you look at this shape how are you going to draw this shape for me i will move forward and turn right and move okay and turn right again and move and turn right again and move and turn right again and move and stop here so my movement is gonna be like this one two three four five and all of them I have to move forward and turn right have you seen it so in all of them I will move forward five times one and turn right five times two three four five so I snap this block, move forward, okay, turn right, put it under, okay, now when you look at this shape, it have different colors, it have different colors, and here we have set color, random color, so we're going to take this block, set color, random color, and you change this repeat to five because it's gonna be five times okay now haven't done that you've seen that this have changed to zero that is you're not gonna use this block anymore 
I did wrong. Correct. You've completed this puzzle. It's very simple. So, we continue. Puzzle 9. Puzzle 9. Loops shall sure make writing code easier. Use loops to draw the staircase. This is the staircase. Each stair step is 50 pixels long and 50 pixels tall. Okay? You will need to turn 90 degrees in each direction. So, you are the artist. You are going to do what? To draw a loop of a staircase. Each staircase is 50 pixels long and 50 pixels tall. Now this is the wide of the what of the staircase 20. So what are you going to do here? You're going to re repeat exactly the same procedure you followed in puzzle A. Because here you have the number of what times that you are going to use the move forward block. We're going to use this block twice so that means we have to make use of the word the repeat loop okay so you snap this repeat loop here now you check this is the artist he's gonna move forward okay when he gets to this point is he gonna turn right or turn left this way is left this way is right He's going to turn right and move down. When he gets to this point, is he going to turn right or left? This is right. This is left. So at this point, he turns left and moves forward. Okay? So here, we have what? Move forward and turn right. One. Move forward and turn left. One moves forward here what's gonna happen turn left turn right so he turns right moves forward and turns right two okay moves forward right left and turns left two okay moves forward and turns what right left that is right three he gets to this point, moves forward, and turns left three. So it's gonna be repeat do three times. So the first one is what? Move forward by 50 pixels. He gets to this point, he turns right. Turn right by 90 degrees. Okay? He's gonna move forward again. Okay? And turns left by 90 degrees I think that's all the number of times we are going to use our move forward block have finished so from the counting we did we counted three times that is he's gonna move forward three times and turn right three times moves forward three times and turn left three times so the repeat do is what three times so we click run Correct. Continue. Puzzle 10. This staircase is much bigger, but it takes the same amount of code as the last puzzle. Fix this loop to complete the puzzle. Okay? It means that this staircase is much bigger than the last word staircase. So this is just the what the continuation of what the previous lesson that is the previous puzzle puzzle 9 remember puzzle 9 stopped here okay so this is the continuation of the what of the staircase okay so previously in puzzle 9 we used the repeat do 
three times that it is stopped here all right so when you look at this it is like it's gonna follow the same pattern again move forward turn right move forward turn left move forward turn right move forward turn left so for example if the puzzle 9 stopped here all right and we have repeat do three times okay so we also gonna have another what another three repeat do another three repeat do so what are we gonna do we're going to change this to what six we change it to six okay now let's run this first to determine if it's correct three that's three have you seen it it stopped here that was what puzzle nine so it needs another word three repeat do three times to complete it so three plus three is what six so what's gonna be here you write six okay you run correct you click continue Okay, challenge puzzle. Challenge puzzles are lessons designed to stretch your brain. Just do the best you can. I am ready. So here, challenge. Look for a pattern and make this code shorter using loops. So what you're going to do here, guys, you will do this on your own. I'm not going to do it for you. You have to practice it. It's going to stretch your brain because it's a challenge puzzle, okay? So you take your time. Even if you don't get it, you continue doing it until you do what? You get it correct. You are going to do what? To draw the loop. You are going to draw the loop of this polygon. With how many sides? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. A polygon of 8 sides, okay? So... What you are going to do here, they want you to replace this. This is the code for this. Alright? So, but they want you to replace it using what loops? The repeat do loop. Okay? That is, you shorten it. This code is very long. Okay? So, what you are going to do is to use this word, use this loop and arrange this code so that it will be what? Short. It will be shorter like the one we did in puzzle 9 and puzzle 10 okay so take your time guys and do it and i wish you best of luck so next time we're going to start from lesson 5 take care stay safe